made in Hollywood. An unlucky assassin takes a non-stop thrill ride through modern-day Japan as Brad Pitt stars in the action comedy Bullet Train. Hi. There's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Can't use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. God. My first question is for Mr. Brad Pitt. Your character in the film, Ladybug, believes he's very unlucky, but some would say that he's actually pretty lucky for surviving everything despite things going awry. And it's really just all about perspective. So what's your perspective on Ladybug? Uh, I think you just nailed it. <laughs> just, You're welcome. Thank you, I, thank you very much. That was so easy. Yeah, I'm going to create all your sound bites today. He's just a bit of a whiner. Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. You went from Brad's stunt double to now being his director. Is there no. something that you two discovered about your already established relationship? One thing that I was humbled by is that he'd actually been following my um, directing career, which was like, really? Wow, that's awesome. Thanks, Brad. Like, <laughs> and when we came full circle, we'd been apart for a good decade to come back and for him to build a character to support the movie that I was directing was really beautiful. Some conflicts require a gun. What am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. He tries to change all his missions by taking this like very peaceful approach. In real life, how does Brad Pitt maintain peace in his life? He's got some lovely friends that try to stay in nature, try to stay creative, just relax. It takes a village to, to raise a Brad Pitt. You gotta make sure that he's oh. centered. You wanna make sure he's taking his vitamins. You wanna make sure. <laughs> Wait, know. so are you saying that everyone was accountable for him when you were filming this movie? We really were there for him, man. Yeah. He's incredibly needy, so you have to. <laughs> I'm a delicate, <laughs> delicate <laughs> flower, and it's in my contract. It's in his contract, it's in his writer. Wow, why does that not even surprise me? <laughs> We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting! Has led you here. Everything takes place on this bullet train. They created a set, of course, not a real train, which I'm assuming was bigger than an actual train, but still small enough where they can't hide any stunt doubles. What was it like filming on the train sets? It was amazing. They created a train set in the studio and the platform too. So sometimes I felt like uh, I'm staying in a real station or in the train. Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. Brian <laughs> and Aaron, your characters are the twins and the running joke throughout the film is like, are they really twins? How would you describe their dynamic? We can start with Brian. Well, one's black and one's white. Um, really? So cool. I know, no, I have people are shocked every time. I lucked out in the hugest way to have a co-star like Aaron Taylor Johnson. He was like the most amazing, amazing scene partner to have. Aaron, say one nice thing about Brian now. <laughs> I love this man, honestly, yeah. But it was also really rare, you know, you never that doesn't happen often, but we clicked instantaneously and in it was just magic. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know, what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.